Development in the shooting death of a little boy that also wounded two others, including another innocent child. Two cousins accused gang members are now behind bars. They were accused in the murder of a middle school boy in Wilmington. Alexander Alvarado's family today just learned of the news. And CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live in Wilmington. Jeff, you spoke to his mother? Indeed, Pat and Jeff. His mother spoke to us over the phone earlier today. She says that she is grateful to investigators who have been working on this case. Her boy was shot near this campus while his second child caught a stray bullet on that playground. Jenny Romero wiped away tears during a news conference to announce two arrests in the murder of her 12-year-old son, Alexander Alvarado. It happened near Wilmington Park Elementary last December, near Carmen Metcalf's home. Thank you, Jesus, that they were arrested because it's senseless. Alexander had been in an SUV with his stepmother when they were ambushed. Alexander's stepmother was injured but survived. A stray bullet struck a nine-year-old girl who was on the school's playground. She too survived her injuries. The breaks in the case are welcome news to a community that often hears gunfire. At least once a month. A task force with local and federal investigators arrested 21-year-old Damian Martinez at his home in Wilmington on Tuesday. Tuesday, and 19-year-old Gabriel Martinez was arrested in Long Beach. Two dangerous gang members that have terrorized the Wilmington area. Investigators say they were tipped off to the men who are cousins early on in the case, but many witnesses didn't want to come forward. That was the challenging part, right? Um, when, when they're living within a community who might fear them, Alexander's family didn't speak during the news conference, but his mother did say over the phone she hopes people who witness violence will help detectives deliver justice to grieving families, a sentiment Carmen Metcalf shares. If you see it, tell it, because it'll make you safe, for the, it'll make this community safe for the working people like myself and my children and this school. Damian Martinez's bail has been set at $4 million. He's scheduled to be in court next month, while Gabriel Martinez's bail has been set at $2 million. We're live in Wilmington. Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.